Okay, YouTube, I got a video for you here. This is a Yamaha 200 high pressure direct injection. Okay. All right, now here what we're getting into today is, um, let's see if I can do this here. I already cleaned out the fuel injector rails. Um, I cleaned the fuel injectors. There's videos online to show you how to do that. Um, this system has been cleaned out. Filter's been cleaned out. The filter up there has been cleaned out. This has been cleaned out. The whole complete fuel system has been cleaned out according to YouTube. But there's one thing that they do not show you how to do on YouTube. And I'm going to tell you that if you're going to clean out your fuel system in your Yamaha, you must clean out the high pressure fuel pump as well. High pressure direct injection. Um, these two words here make a big difference because this pump here does not work. Your injectors don't work without this pump. And if you clean out everything around it, I'm guaranteeing you there's going to be some mess inside of it. And I'm going to show you what I mean. Um, it's all completely taken apart. I'm not going to go through on how to take it apart, but I will show you that. Look at this. That's on that. Um, I have these soaking in gasoline. Uh, you can see that crud in there. These were completely black. Just like how that's black right there. These were completely black. This sits on that in there. Um, it's like a cam. With how this turns right here is like a cam. And uh, it pushes on this almost like a roller, rocker roller. And it just causes this to pump in and out. Um, and then these are your little stainless steel diaphragms. And okay, let's get into the nitty gritty here. Let's look into this. You see down in there? It's just crud blockage. Uh, I haven't taken this apart yet. I'm gonna get to that later. But before I even got to that, I mean, you can see in there, this was just full of crud. Just like that crud that's way down in there, it, it was full of crud. And, and I don't know, it's just that ethanol fuel just really messes up these things. You can see that in there. Um, you need to take these out. There's a, a spring in here and a ball, and that part comes out of here. There's a ball in there and there's a spring. And as you can see, look at that nastiness that's in there. You gotta clean this out, people. Um, you can send it and get it done, but you know, it's not rocket science, it's just some screws. You take the screws loose and uh, it out. Look at that. See all that? Deposits in there. All that's blocking up your fuel system. It's a high pressure pump. You know, and there's a lot of screens, little filters. Um, there's videos on how to take that out too. Let's go in here. You see that right there? There's a screen that's in there. There's a screen that's in there. You just put a screw in it turn it in there and then pull it out. Got to kind of yank it out. Um, you can see all this stuff is not clean and it needs to be cleaned out. It's really bad and you can't expect, you see that's a passageway right there and you can see the dirt in there too. Let's see if I can get some better light. I'm trying to do this with one hand. But you can see down in there, that's... It's dirty. You need 
need to use non-ethanol fuel. Make sure you use some sea foam. These are the products that I'm using to clean it. Sea foam cleaner. Um, this is the product that I use to loosen up everything. Uh, your O-rings are going to be tight, you know, when you try to squeeze them out of there or pull them out. Spray this on there, this loosens them up. Be able to twist, you know, O-rings and things like this here out. Um, and you want to use some carb cleaner. Uh, and, uh, yeah, just go ahead and take your time. It's going to take you about two hours to do it, but it's well worth it. Get that pump out of your boat, out of your boat motor, your 200, and uh, get this thing performing the way how it's supposed to. You know, if you're starting to lose power, this is why. So just go ahead and uh, get your table out. Spend a, a, a Saturday fishing, half of it, you know clean this thing out because it's um if you're using ethanol fuel and you're not cleaning your fuel system like you're supposed to uh this is what happens um so go ahead and get that uh that yamaha running the way how it's supposed to